Welcome back, everybody. In the 1950s and 60s, the Atlanta Life Insurance Company was the epicenter of opportunity for African Americans. Now, since the company relocated, its original office building has seen much better days. Yeah, you could say that. CBS 46's Karen Greer was there for the installation of a new exhibit. The original Atlanta Life Insurance building has been vacant on Auburn Avenue for almost 40 years. Memories of working there remain vivid for Henrietta Phillips Antony. That's like my home. I spent most of my adult years in that old building. Antonine served as vice president of public relations for 46 years. Her portrait hangs on one of the windows, a tribute to the legacy of a company started by a former slave. We thought that it would be good to have something other than those blank windows. And one of the things that we really lament is that most people don't know or see the people who really made so much of what we have possible. M. Tamanika Youngblood is with Sweet Auburn Works, the nonprofit behind the Window Speaks exhibit. Each window featuring the leaders who elevated Atlanta life into one of the most successful black owned businesses in the country, from founder Alonzo Herndon to former president and civil rights activist Jesse Hill Jr. It's all about a sense of pride, get teary eyed. Hill was one of Antonine's mentors. One of the things I learned from him don't come back to him unless the mission is accomplished. He would tell me to do something, and I said, well, I tried. I, I wasn't able to do this. I called. I did. No, no, no. Don't come back. When I talk to you again, the mission will be accomplished. Working for Atlanta Live brought Antonine a sense of integrity and pride at a time when blacks were fighting for equality. I'm born in Georgia in a very unfortunate racist state, and here in our name, the N-word, all the time as if it was some dessert. Uh, was insulted and as a kid I grew up with that and hearing about this black company I was just eager to try to be a part of it. The company brought prosperity to Auburn Avenue once called the richest street for blacks in America and was instrumental in many causes including the civil rights movement. When kids were locked up across the country Martin Luther King would have a cause to come through our switchboard Jesse Hill would make sure that he would get in turn in contact with the lawyers to help bail the kids out of jail. Antonine says seeing the exhibit for the first time brought her to tears. And all I could think of the life that I had in that company. I was most proud of the opportunity to open doors for other young black men and women. Window Speaks was created by artist Amali Amaki and is a permanent fixture on the building, which means plenty of time for you to check it out. Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.